coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good afternoon. Finally starting to quiet down across the Wabash Valley after a very active start to the day. We had a line of strong, severe thunderstorms roll through the valley. As you look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker right now, all the rain showers have finally pushed off to the southeast, but I'll loop this over the last six hours. You can see that line of storms working right across southern portions of the News 10 viewing area. A lot of lightning and a lot of heavy rain following with that. Numerous flash flood warnings in effect for many of our Illinois communities. Effingham had over three inches of rain just in that short amount of time this morning as those thunderstorms rolled through. And in addition to heavy rain, there were several reports of some wind damage, especially as these thunderstorms rolled through. So anywhere with these icons that have the snap tree, that was some wind damage. Most of these are actually tree damage as the wind blew through, but also there was a report of lightning striking a tree up in Marshall, and there was also some wind gusts as high as 58 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour as these thunderstorms rolled through. So a lot of power outages this morning across the Wabash Valley, and I'm sure crews are still out there trying to work to clean everything up after those storms move through. Also a pretty cool photo sent in to us by Lacey Oaks. This was here in Terre Haute. Undulatus Asperatus clouds, and those were formed when you have more tranquil weather. We didn't have any storms in Terre Haute. We barely had any rain, just a hundredth of an inch recorded at the airport. When you get on the northern edge of those storms, you can see some pretty cool cloud formations forming out there. So thank you, Lacey, for sending those in to us. If you have any photos you'd like to share, whether it's the storm clouds or some storm damage, go to the Report It tab at WTHITV.com. So now that the storm's moving out, the main story is going to be some relief from the heat. And actually, that's what helped fuel those thunderstorms that moved through today as we're trying to get a less humid air mass to work through. So that's been wringing out the moisture in the atmosphere. But where the sunshine's returned, temperatures are back in the 80s. It's 80 in Paris and in Terre Haute, 82 in Rockville, 70 down in Sullivan at 73 in Vincennes and Washington, and 72 for Flora and Linton. So once the sun comes back out, we'll continue to climb back up this afternoon. Still expecting a high to top out around 90 degrees today, so another hot day, but not quite as hot as it has been the past week. And we'll start to notice that humidity start to leave the air as we get into the afternoon. That's going to shape us up for a pretty nice weekend. Look at tomorrow, 81 degrees for the high, so actually below average for a day. Then we'll start to climb again as we get into Sunday. And that break from the heat doesn't last very long. We'll be back into the upper 90s by the time we get to Tuesday. Here's a look at Futurecast as we go through the rest of the day. Again, you can see the sky clearing out, so lots of sunshine expected to finish up our Friday. The wind will be out of the northwest. That'll be ushering in that cooler, less humid air, dropping into the low 60s tonight, so that'll feel pretty good. Then for your Saturday, lots of sunshine on the way once again, so no issues for any activities going on. That'll take us right into the day on Sunday as well. We'll actually drop into the mid-50s Saturday night, so enjoy some free AC. Then as we get into Sunday, more sunshine on the way. We'll start to notice those temperatures edge up just a little bit because you'll notice the wind starts to shift and come out of the south. That'll be bringing that hot and humid air mass again as we get into next week. Before today, 90 degrees gradually clearing, so areas that see more clouds may only make it into the upper 80s, but either way, still another warm day. Tonight, dropping down to 62 degrees under a clear sky. As we get into tomorrow, 81 degrees, cooler and less humid for the weekend, just in time for all those activities and events going on. And as we look the next seven days, again, short-lived cool down back into the upper 90s, pushing 100 on Tuesday.